I think when it comes to my career, I've just really been goal oriented. You know, I'm type A, let's, that's probably obvious, an overachiever a little bit, but um, for me, I've just really loved setting goals. And what I've always done is set short term goals, which are goals I wanted to reach within one year. And then I've always set long term goals, which are goals I wanted to reach within five years. And I may not have always reached every goal that I wrote down, but I think by having that focus of what it is that I wanted to achieve really forced me to make sacrifices. And I think that's really what it's about. When we have these goals or things that we want to do, or even our dreams, we have to make sacrifices to reach those dreams. I asked myself a simple question, and that question was, why not me? To reach the path of your success, I believe you have to challenge yourself and ask that simple question, why not you? I asked this question because I'm a young girl at one time, I was. Uh, I, I'm from the city of Compton, California, which is in LA, it's an inner city. I come from a single parent mom who raised myself along with my two sisters. But I was a young girl in this inner city, in this particular place, with a lot of dreams and hopes, but also a little bit of fear, because you never know if you're gonna make it, right? Some of us have these dreams and hopes that we want to be successful one day, but then you have that little doubt. And so, for me, I started to think about, do I really have to give myself permission to want to be great? And what happened to me is I started to write down these goals, short-term goals, which were goals I wanted to achieve within one year, and my long-term goals, which were goals I wanted to achieve within five years. Everybody has a choice, and we all have 24 hours in a day. C stands for competence. You have to be competent in whatever it is you're doing. You have to educate yourself. With the access of the internet, there's no excuse. H is for hard work. I didn't reach, achieve all of these great things by just sitting by the sideline. It does take a lot of hard work. It takes dedication. And as my great friend Kobe Bryant would always say, Lisa, everybody's not willing to make the sacrifices. You have to make sacrifices in order to be successful. The O is for optimism. You just got to stay positive. Yeah. Like you have to stay positive and surround yourself with positive people. Um, that's really important because negativity, negativity is, is a very heavy weight yeah. and it can spread easily, but to be optimistic and positive is important. The I is for integrity. Listen, be a man or woman of your word. If you say you're going to do it, you got to do it. It's important to have that integrity and do and be the person that you want to be and treat people the way that you want to be treated. The other C is for courage. We have to have the courage to go after our goals. Yeah. And sometimes that means failing. Yeah. Like we don't always get to where we want to be. Right. You can't be afraid to fail. And the last letter is E, and E is for execution. Sometimes we always have these lofty dreams, but we are afraid to go after it. We don't always see it all the way through, but execution is key. I would never know or never failed in some of the businesses that I've had if I would not have followed all the way through and executed. The time is now for you guys to answer. Remember, every accomplishment that you receive or that you achieve was at one time considered to be impossible. And speaking of impossible, let me just share a story that I have with, that happened to me. I was in college. I graduated with my undergrad in communications. I went on to get my master's. As I got my master's in business, I was also playing in the WNBA, also winning MVPs, but it was an Olympic year. So I had to put my masters on hold, go and play. Uh, I played overseas right when it was time for my finals. I was out of the country playing, came back, fell behind. I was missing two classes. Next thing you know, I'm married, I'm pregnant, I have a baby. Everything is just, you know, I'm, I'm really behind and I'm falling short on my goals. But then I realized I went back to complete those two courses and I got it done because I made the right choice. And again, I would ask myself, why not me? Somebody's gotta be the best. So sometimes we have to be our biggest cheerleaders and convince and inspire ourselves to reach our goals. If it's sort of this lofty dream that's, you know, that goal is so far out there, every day people lose sight of what the goal is yep. because we did nothing to sort of reset ourselves. Right. And we didn't celebrate the milestones because there's milestones to getting to that top goal. Yeah, yeah. We have to celebrate those too. Yeah. Like people have to get out of the monotony of just what they're doing every single day. Yeah. And especially with this coming out of a pandemic, yeah. it's a good time to re-engage people. 
find activities for people to feel motivated and inspired. Yeah.